All right, so uh, let's jump into something that's really kind of blowing up these days. Mm -hmm. Prompt engineering in India. Yeah. You know, this whole AI world is just moving at lightning speed. and It really is. India is right there in the thick of it. Yeah, absolutely. We've got some research here, articles, uh, even a few personal notes. And what's really jumping out is how fast everything is changing. It is. So for you listening, this could be about, you know, career moves or maybe just pure curiosity about how India is playing such a huge role. Right. But either way, we're going to break it down. Yeah, let's do it. So prompt engineering, I mean, what is it? It's kind of like learning to talk to AI in a way it gets. Right. So it can do some pretty incredible things. Exactly. But in India, this isn't just a trend. It's like a tidal wave. It really is. And you know what's so fascinating is how deeply AI is becoming a part of like everything in India. Yeah. It's not just the tech companies. Mm -hmm. You know, right. we're talking healthcare finance. Mm -hmm. Even those traditional businesses are starting to realize the potential here. It's like this whole new toolkit just kind of appeared overnight. Yeah. Imagine, uh, you know, what you could do with AI, you know, analyzing patient data in some rural clinic or even just optimizing those chatbot responses everyone loves on their favorite shopping sites. Right. Or loves to hate sometimes. Yeah, exactly. But you hit on a key point there. Yeah. That's exactly where prompt engineering comes in. Yeah. It's not enough to just have the AI you got to, you know, shape it guide. It, it It's almost like teaching it to, you know, mm -hmm. understand the nuances of the task at hand. Yeah. Like yeah. it's that bridge between raw AI capability and actually getting things done in the real world. It's that translation layer almost. Exactly. So I was reading about how even the Indian education system is kind of catching up. Yeah. Searches for a prompt engineering course have just gone through the roof. That's amazing. Online platforms, boot camps, even those top institutes are offering like really specialized training. Yeah, and it makes total sense when you think about India's you know, longstanding strength in software engineering and data science. Yeah. They've got that foundation. Yeah, they've got the base, and now they're adding this incredibly valuable and, you know, honestly, in-demand skill set right on top of it. So, I mean, let's be real for a second. That translates into some pretty amazing job prospects. Oh, absolutely. Like those tech hubs, Bengaluru, Hyderabad, those places mm -hmm. are absolutely buzzing with opportunities for prompt engineers. Totally. And even the starting salaries for, you know, entry-level roles are pretty impressive. Yeah. And for those with experience, well, let's just say the earning potential is significant. Okay. But now for the part that really kind of blew my mind, India's linguistic diversity, which is often seen as a challenge, you know, right. actually turns out to be a massive advantage in this field. It really is, isn't it? It's fascinating. Yeah. You know, India has so many languages spoken all across the country. Right. And this means that prompt engineers there are dealing with a level of complexity that most others aren't even thinking about. Right. They're designing prompts. For Hindi, Kamal, Bengal. I mean, the list goes on and on. So it's not just about making AI work. It's about making it work for this enormous and incredibly diverse population. Yeah. And what's even more interesting is what that means for India on like a global scale. Right. Think about it as AI becomes more and more integrated into our lives worldwide. Yeah. Who's going to be best equipped to handle all the complexities of language? Yeah. Indian prompt engineers are getting like a front row seat to this challenge. And they're developing some truly valuable expertise. Yeah. It's really something. Yeah, it is. It is. Right. So <laughs> it's like they're creating this blueprint for how to make AI more inclusive, yeah. more accessible. And not just in India. I mean, this could have an impact globally. Precisely. The skills that they're developing right now are going to have implications way beyond, mm -hmm. you know, India's borders. Mm hmm it's a really fascinating time to be watching this all unfold. It is, but you know, with all this rapid progress, I mean, there's got to be challenges too, right? Of course. I mean, AI is changing so fast. How do these prompt engineers even keep up? That's a huge point. The learning curve in this field is incredibly steep. Yeah. Prompt engineers, <laughs> they have to be super adaptable, you know, yeah. constantly learning, refining their techniques as these new AI models come out. Right. It is not a job for someone who you know, shies away from learning new things. Yeah. And it's not just about the technical skills, is it? No. It feels like prompt engineering is kind of this blend of like art and science. It really is. You need that creativity to come up with the right prompts, but then also like a deep understanding of how the AI works. Absolutely. You know, it's limitations, it's potential biases. Right. And the choices that a prompt engineer makes can have a huge impact on what that AI system puts out. Yeah. It's about way more than just 
you know, making it work. Right. It's about making sure that it works responsibly. It makes you realize how important experience and good judgment is in this field. Oh, yeah. I was looking at some of those job postings. They're not just looking for coding skills. No, yeah, they're not. They want people who can, you know, think critically, problem solve creatively. I mean, it's almost like being some kind of like linguist and detective. Totally. And those stakes are only getting higher. You know, yeah. as AI becomes more integrated into our lives, the decisions these prompt engineers make are going to shape how we interact with AI, you know, how it impacts our world. Yeah. It's a huge responsibility. Which brings me to something else I was thinking about. You know, we hear so much about AI like replacing jobs. Right. But this actually feels like it's creating a whole new set of jobs. It is. Jobs that require these very human skills. It's this fascinating paradox. Mm. You know, we tend to think of AI as this cold, impersonal force. Yeah. But the truth is, it's very much a human endeavor still. Yeah. And you know, roles like prompt engineering are proof of that. Yeah. They need that creativity, that empathy, that understanding of context. Yeah. All these qualities that are uniquely human. It's almost like we're entering this era of like collaboration between humans and AI. Where, you know, each brings their own strengths to the table. Exactly. And in that sense, the rise of prompt engineering isn't just some technological shift. It's a societal one. Yeah. You know, it's forcing us to rethink how we see technology you know, to understand its limitations, but also its possibilities and figure out ways to work together so that everybody benefits. And what's so interesting about what's happening in India mm -hmm. is they're not just, you know, following the trends. Yeah. They're actively out there shaping the future of this whole field. It's amazing, you know, from building these really innovative training programs to tackling those complexities of multilingual AI. Right. India is really at the forefront of prompt engineering. Mm hmm. And, you know, with those predictions that most companies are going to be integrating AI in the next few years, India's expertise is just going to become more and more valuable. I feel like we're just scratching the surface here. You know, we've talked about the job market, the skills, but what about the bigger picture? Like, what could all this mean for India as a whole? That's where it gets really interesting. You know, imagine a future where AI is just seamlessly woven into everyday life in India. From yeah. healthcare to education, agriculture to government. Right. And imagine that AI isn't just functional, it's truly inclusive. Yeah. Able to understand and respond to the needs of such a diverse population. We're talking about an India where language is no longer a barrier to accessing information or services. Right. Where AI can help bridge that gap between urban and rural communities, where technology empowers people and drives real progress. Exactly. And the key to making that happen lies with those prompt engineers. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who will decide how AI interacts with Indian society, you know, how it tackles problems, how it creates opportunities. It makes you realize this isn't just about technology, it's about people. It is. It's about empowering individuals, creating a more inclusive society, and ultimately shaping a better future for India. And that's what I find so inspiring about this whole field, you know? That... It's not just about code or algorithms. Right. It's about human ingenuity, creativity, and this desire to have a positive impact on the world. So for everyone listening, if this has sparked even a little bit of curiosity, don't let it fade. Yeah. Dive deeper, explore this world of prompt engineering because who knows, maybe you'll be the one writing the next chapter in this incredible story. The future of AI is being written right now and India is in a position to play a leading role. Yeah. And who knows, maybe you'll be a part of it. And on that note, we'll wrap up our deep dive into prompt engineering in India. Great conversation. We hope you found it as fascinating as we did. Thanks for joining us, and until next time, keep exploring.